Hi guys, this is Jot. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about my experience with the servicing um, of my actual electric Hyundai Kona or my previous uh, Ford Focus, just to compare the two. Um, the reason why I make this video now, because I've done exactly the same amount of servicing, so it was the first free services with both cars. Um, usually I do this servicing uh, at every 15,000 kilometers. However, on the Focus, the second service was not at 15,000. It was considerably less because of the well-known uh, factor of the previous years we know of. Uh, so it wasn't used that much. But all in all, we, um, I've done three services on uh, both cars and it was done at the dealership. So, um, for the Focus, the first one was 150 euros. On today's price, it would be 200 euros. Then the second service was like 170 euros. On today's price, it would be 275 euros. Um, the third service was 245 euros. On today's price, it would be 320 euros. So all in all, I paid 565 euros. Uh, for the first three services for the Focus. On today's prices, this first three would be 795 euros. For the Kona, uh, and of course I need to mention that obviously you have considered less parts uh, to service, you have obviously shorter labor, so there is a reason why it is going to be a different number. But the first service was 35 euros, and on today's price it would be 50 euros. The second service was 70 euros. Now I need to add here that I would need to pay like 25 euros more. Uh, but at the second service of the Kona, I replaced the, the cabin filter myself. Um, so the price of the filter and the labor would be somewhere around 25 euros. But I did it for myself. But let's call it you know, 70 euros that I paid for the second service. On today's price, it would be 125 euros. And I just had the third service that was again 50 euros. And um, it would be 50 euros on today's price because I just had it recently. So all in all, I paid like 155 euros for the first three services. If we add this 25, then it would be like 180 euros. On today's price, it would be altogether 225 euros. So there is a massive difference between the 565 and the 155 slash 180 euros or the 795 and the 225 euros. So for me, given all the other circumstances with solar panel and whatever, it was a better choice um, financially to have the electric car but it, obviously it might be different for you. So I'm just telling you what is my experience. So hopefully you can learn from and you can make an educated decision um, which one is better for you. So again, I don't want to convince anyone. It's just a storytelling. Uh, you decide whatever you want. And yeah, basically that's that. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos. I'd like to say a big thank you for your time and catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.